ManyChat has been around for a couple of years and everybody knows it as the go-to way to automate your Instagram DMs if you wanna make more sales on Instagram. Well, I'm about to destroy your entire worldview because ManyChat is outdated at this point. There's actually a better way for you to handle your incoming DMs on Instagram and that is integrating AI agents into your Instagram DMs. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly step-by-step step, how you can do exactly that as well as provide you with all the templates you need so that you can plug and play this system and have AI answering your Instagram DMs in as soon as an hour. This is gonna change the way that you sell on Instagram, I guarantee it. All right, so I've made this little slideshow. We're gonna walk through it step by step. I'm gonna show you where you can find all the resources to set this up and actually walk you through the integration. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what you have to do to get your own AI agent into your Instagram DMs and I guarantee that it is better than many chat it's going to elevate your customer engagement and you're going to be able to track real results and as i said i'm going to show you everything in this video now quick recap the many chat landscape now many chat obviously has been used by a lot of people inside of the Instagram sales space. When people comment on your post, you can send them things based on the common trigger keyword. When people DM you a certain keyword, you can actually go ahead and send out things. You can have fully fledged sales funnels built out inside of ManyChat. However, there are some limitations and drawbacks. First of all, it's not dynamic. So somebody may comment the keyword, you send the message and they answer something completely unrelated. They don't actually answer your question and the ManyChat flow will still continue. So there's a lack of personalization. There isn't really Really a personalized flow and there's no real human like conversation going on it's just a fixed sales funnel as you would have with for example a form which you host on your website now this is why AI changes everything that you know about many chat AI's role in overcoming many chats limitations is that you are able to have a dynamic sales process so you can do still do the exact same thing somebody comments on your post you send them a DM and you ask them a certain question and when they respond AI takes over and is able to qualify that lead offer them a lead magnet collect their email Email, sign them up to your email newsletter, add the user to your CRM, etc. AI can do all of that and much, much more. Now, the benefits are pretty obvious. You have 24 7 operation with re real human like interaction. So it's a real conversation 24 7. Intelligent responses. So when somebody says something, for example, shares something about their personal situation, the AI is going to be able to pick up on that, acknowledge their struggle, acknowledge their pain, acknowledge what they're going through, and then move on with the sales conversation whereas a regular ManyChat flow would not be able to know what the person just said and adjust the message based on that. And it is also able to learn from interactions so it becomes better and better and better over time. So another massive benefit is integration. So the AI throughout a normal natural human conversation can actually add lead information into a CRM. It can book meetings into your calendar. It can add people to your email list. It can send out lead magnets to leads and much, much more. Imagine it being an actual actual human sitting inside of your many chat and actually having a real, real conversation with people and not just canned responses. Now, this is the part that you've been waiting for. We're going to integrate this step by step. It's three simple steps. Step number one is setting up your chosen AI platform. And I'm going to walk you through that right now. The platform of choice that I recommend any beginner to go with is voiceflow.com. You can find the link down below in the description. Just click that and come to this page. Now, if you go to the pricing page, you will see that for $50 a month, you can get the professional plan which is more than enough for you to get started. Now, once you've signed up to VoiceFlow, you can open up your dashboard right here. The next thing you're going to do is go over into our free school community, more clients with AI. You can find it at school.com slash Omnifusion. Head over into the classroom. And here in the classroom, you can actually find this video right here, how to book appointments with an Instagram AI chatbot. And inside of here, you will find a VoiceFlow template. Download, go ahead and download that template. Go back into VoiceFlow and up here, you can import that file that you just downloaded and it's going to open up your AI appointment setter template. You then have this template right here where you can adjust your own AI appointment setter. It's very basic to set up. If you guys are inside of the classroom, there's actually a 17 minute video right here where I explain exactly how you can customize this voice flow template. Now, once you have set up your voice flow template and your AI appointment setter, the next step is going to be to link your AI to ManyChat through APIs. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Also inside of the classroom. If you go onto the video, more clients with AI, 
AI, you can actually find the ManyChat template right here. So all you need to do is click here, sign up to ManyChat. If you don't have ManyChat yet, sign up. If you do, you don't need to do that. And then you can download your ManyChat template right here. So if you click on this link, it's going to open up the ManyChat template by OmniFusion AI, which is completely free for you guys to use. And this is going to allow you to integrate your voice flow AI appointment setter into your ManyChat so that it can reply to your Instagram DMs. So once you have adjusted your voice flow template, all you need to do is publish. You can always click up here on run to actually test it beforehand. And this is going to allow you once you have adjusted these prompts right here, have your own appointment setter. So if I say hi, it is actually going to be able to start qualifying me based on what I have here. So I get 50 DMs a day and we just move throughout the conversation. Now, once that is done, all you need to do is hit publish your chatbot that is going to load up here. Boom, it is published. Then you go ahead and click on integration. And over here, you're going to have API keys. You're going to go ahead and copy your primary key. Boom, copy that key. Then head over to ManyChat where you've imported the template. And inside of this template, you're going to have to have a couple things set up, which is number one over here in this, 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 and this right here. You're going to have to go in and actually change the API key. As you can see, it's already done over here and put the API key in this authorization field. You're going to have to do that for, as I said, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And for this right here, you're going to have to set up your own Google app script, which is also super easy to do. All you need to do is go into the classroom, go into the resource hub and inside of the resource hub, if you scroll down to voice flow integrations, you're going to find full template. Now you can connect voice flow with Instagram DMs and Facebook messenger. And down here you have the steps for this code for text converter. Visit this, you need to follow these five steps right here and just deploy this code inside of Google, Google, Google app script. And then all you need to do is add that URL in there. And then the template will be fully functional and working. Now, once you have your voice flow side set up, so you have a working AI as well as your many chat template set up and the two of them are connected. Now your AI will be working inside of your Instagram DMs. The third step, and this is essential, is ensuring that you have the right trigger set up based on your audience. So in this case right here inside of ManyChat, we have a trigger set up, which is a default reply trigger, which means that any DM we get on this Instagram account is going to trigger the AI and generate a response. You have a ton of trigger options here inside of ManyChat, such as if the user comments on your post or your reel, if the user replies to your story, if the user sends you a message with a specific keyword, comments on your live, etc. I like to use the default reply in most cases, and you can set up the default reply by going to settings, Instagram, and over here under default reply, you just need to click and select the specific project that you want to use. So if I disconnect this, all you need to do is click on select existing and actually hook up the template right here and you are done. Now, if we go back into the flow, you can see that you'll have the default reply right here. All you need to do is click on it and ensure that you have every time selected. That way, every single message in your DMs is going to trigger this. And of course, make sure to turn it on. But you can set up a ton of different triggers right here and just play around with it. Feel free to do that. All right, so now we're gonna test it real quick. I'm just gonna show this to demonstrate you guys that it works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send, hey, and we are going to get a reply back from the AI within a couple of seconds, usually. Um, hey, how's it going? Quick question, how many inbound DMs do you get per day? I get around 50 DMs a day. And the cool thing with this really is, is that there's nothing done without AI. That's quite a lot of DMs. Do you handle them all by yourself or do you have a team to help you out? I actually hired one person to help me out, but he is lazy. Now, if you would have built this with ManyChat, this would have not been able to pick up on what I just said and then answer. So now it's saying that's frustrating when team members aren't pulling their weight. Have you considered using AI appointment setters to streamline your appointment setting? It can help automate the process and save you time. Interested sounds good. And now it's going to go ahead and send out the link to book a call right here, which in this case is obviously a test link. But this is really the key benefit of being able to build this out inside of voice flow, because instead of having any logic built up inside of many chat, everything happens inside of voice flow. You can adjust the individual prompts, individual messages, and there's a ton of other logic here. If you watch some of the other videos on the channel, you will find a lot on how to build these out. And as I said, inside of school, you're going to be able to find everything in the classroom and find a ton of video tutorials as well on how to build out AI chatbots. 
response for your Instagram DMs. All right, so now we've done these three, three steps. We've set up voice flow. We've set up the chatbot in voice flow. We've linked the voice flow AI with many chat through the APIs and we've customized the triggers based on your goals, your audience, whatever you want to do with comments, etc. In this case, it's the default reply. I've showed you guys that it works. Now let's move on and talk about monitoring and analyzing results. Now, setting up a conversion tracking in ManyChat really is key for all of this. You want to know how many links to book a call have been sent. Now, obviously, when we built these out at our agency, we do a lot more advanced and complex builds where the appointment setter itself books the meeting in the calendar. So there's no Calendly link being sent. Instead, the AI just asks, are you free tomorrow? at 10 or Friday at two. And then it just moves on from there and basically books it in your calendar autonomously. But with this basic template that I'm sharing here now, that is not a possibility. However, you still want to track some form of conversion tracking. So what I've done here is obviously at the end in this specific voice flow build, we either send out the Calendly link test calendly.com slash test or school.com slash Omnifusion. If they don't agree to book a call, we want to push them to our community in this simple example. Now, basically, if you go into template that I've done right here, I've already set it up on this end and basically at the at the end of the flow before we send out the last reply which is the variable that we get back from voice flow which is the message that we actually send the user if this variable contains calendly.com that means that we've sent out the calendly link which is going to add the tag call link sent and if we send out the school link we add the tag school link sent now in this case we end the conversation after this so there's no more continuation so if we send out the links and we have those tags added we actually don't want to do anything and we want to stop responding to the person from there on a human can take over or in our more advanced appointment setter solutions we obviously build it out so that there never has to be any human interaction whatsoever but basically the way that works is if i go back into the instagram dms now you guys can see that i have received the link so now if i send a message I will no longer receive a response because I did receive the Calendly link. Now, if we go into many chat and we go over to the live chat, you guys can actually use the filter condition tag. And here you're going to be able to see how many people have received the tag call link sent, which in this case is one, which is me. And being able to track how many people have that tag, you're gonna know how many people went through the conversation with the AI and were sent the link to book a call and how many people were sent the link to join the school community. Now, obviously analyzing key metrics is important, which number one is response time. Now, in this case, you guys know the response time is super low. However, you are able to adjust that based on your needs. So some people wanna add a little bit longer delays to make it more human-like. If you guys wanna add in a delay, you can actually do this right before or the card where you send the message, all you need to do is click here, go to a smart delay and add in delays here. So that is something that you can customize. So you can set up delays to be, for example, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 50 seconds, whatever the case may be. In this case, I'm going to leave it. But if you guys want to add delays, that is how you can do it. Now, tracking the engagement rate is something that depends really on what your trigger is. So if you have just DMs, then obviously every single DM you are sent, you're going to res respond to that. However, with, for example, common triggers, it's important to track when you when somebody comments and you send them a dm with the ai how many people actually start engaging inside of a conversation as well as your conversion rate which is the amount of conversation started with the ai compared to how many links were sent out so those are some things that you need to keep track of if you want to have accurate tracking with your ai appointment setters and the most important thing is to continue making data driven adjustments for continuous improvement and that means to keep on analyzing the conversion rates keep on analyzing conversations have an eye on it and keep on a adjusting the AI based on that to ensure that you get better and better and better over time. I'm just going to drop some statistics that we have seen with clients. Now, obviously what we build out for clients is much, much, much more advanced and complex than what you've seen in this video. We actually build out full systems where, as I said, the AI can book meetings autonomously. It can access your email list. It can send out lead magnets to users and do all kinds of awesome stuff. If you're interested in that, go to omnifusion.ai. Um, but we, with our clients, we've seen an up to 300% increase in conversions due to faster and better replies, instant replies 24 seven accurate follow-ups. So we actually built out a follow-up system as well, which you can do inside of your many chat too. If people do not respond to a message, you can actually follow up with them after X amount of minutes, hours, or even one day with a follow-up message to re-engage them in the conversation. And you obviously have less human errors. So compared to a human, you have less human errors. However, if you're using many chat previously, and now you're just replacing your many chat automations with AI, this is just going to make it much more human-like. So that is going to increase the conversion by a ton. Obviously, you replace most, if not all of your VAs and get a predictable AI instead, because even with many chat automations, you're still going to have a ton of DMs, which are not related to any of your automations.
automations which are most likely going to be left unanswered if you don't have any VAs working or if you don't do any of the work yourself. So having an AI instead is really going to boost your conversion by a ton and of course less work, more revenue which is everybody's favorite. Now your AI journey can begin right now. I highly suggest that you jump on this trend because AI is not going anywhere. If you want an AI appointment set are done for you, and I've already touched on this a little bit, we build much, much more advanced things than what you've seen in this video. If you want to see a demo, go to instagram.com slash AI closer, test out one of our AI appointments that are demos, try and test it whatever way you want, try and throw it off guard, I promise you, you'll be surprised by its capabilities. Or if you want to do it yourself and build your a very simple AI appointment setter for your many chat. You can do that with school.com slash Omnifusion. Join the community, find all templates, resources, and everything else you need for free over there. And that is it from my side. This is much better than many chat, your own AI handling your Instagram DMs. I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.